All right, let's learn how to beat Vegito. But first, somebody come look at Goku. He having a little too much fun. All right, so Vegito is one of those characters who are really good against people who do not like to block and like to press buttons because he's all about spacing, all right? He really doesn't have too much mix because you really just block all his mix the same way. But he is one of the kings of spacing, and here's why. Let's start off with his 5L. His 5L has great distance and multi-hitting. So when spaced right, most of the cast can't contest him, and if they are able to, they will clash and ultimately lose against him. Which is why if you see Vegito at this certain range, you really don't want to mess with him. But if you see them not at the right distance and abusing 5L, it is punishable. It's negative 5 and a startup frame of 7. If they're too close, they will get hit. Know the difference. You know, Vegito part of the sneaker gang. You know, he always trying to show you his sneakers. You know what I'm saying? But if you try to show him your shoes, he going to punch them. All right? That hops over lows. You don't want that. Vegito is using it as a way to get in or to use it as a way to break through your staggers. So... To replace that, stagger with a standing medium, but make sure you know that they get popped up, so learn how to confirm off that. Now let's slide on to these mediums, right? His standing medium is negative 5, and his slide into your DM's down medium is negative 10. If they stagger on that, punish them. Well, let me tell you what they be doing with this standing medium, right? If they space standing medium correctly, and they get it perfect, it leaves you 0-0 zero, zero on block. Giving you a chance to catch your opponent off guard if they're not knowledgeable. He's not really worried about his heavies. You know, they should never really be ending a string on heavies. At max distance, his standing heavy is pretty safe. But other than that, he ain't really worried about those. Hit that subscribe, my guy. You don't want to get hit in the face on your promos. Now let's slide up into these block strings. On this block string, not too much to worry about. Just know after the key blast, you can reflect. So if you decide to do kicks or reaction, you can reflect that. This next mix is where we get into the goofy stuff of Fujito when they try to use a little grab mix. Usually this is fake, you either reflecting him or the assist. Same with this, you can also reflect this on a reaction, but uh, you know, A for effort. All right, so here's Vegeta's little corner setup, right? Do a little combo, toss you in the corner, slide and knock down, right? Catch you on your wake up option into the sword, into assist. They dash forward. Let me tell you something, when you fight Vegito, stand guard him, okay? He only has one low, so that negates pretty much all his pressure his low has like a startup to 14 to 15 frames, so you can react to that and crouch. A lot of things Vegito does, you really can't punish, but at the same time, he really can't do anything after it. So it's kind of like you playing a lot of neutral Vegito. If he's above you, don't really move. He's going to do the sword, and you can either jump up and punish him or down heavy, depending on the angle, and then decide to move after it. Now let's get into his counter, right? This move is extremely active. When you see it come out, you need to wait just a little longer and then you can punish. If you touch him, he's gonna hit you. Even if you're able to block, if your assist hits him and you block, you're still gonna get hit. So get out the way. If you see somebody recklessly use this move, know they can't vanish after they use it unless they get the hit. So you can actually bait them, scoop back and punish them for it. You got your reactions up and you accidentally hit it. You can either DP it out the situation and if all else fails. Hey man, thanks for watching. Let me tell you something about this series, man. I don't know everything. You know what I'm saying? I know what I know. So what I know, I try to teach you. You know what I'm saying? Go on, teach me too if you know something. We all trying to get stronger. Uh, fun fact, if he tried to randomly super you from the air, you could two-way that. Get him out of here. Hey man, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Cheetah.